Wow, good morning everybody. It's me again, Crazy Bag Lady. So I hope you like that little bit of bird song. So I was outside sorting the dogs out. It's literally about 20 past seven. It's still dark outside. It's vile and it's freezing. Um, I'm just doing my little doggy, doggy duties. Right, yeah, all right. Um, but I could hear the birds and I thought, oh, it's so nice. So yeah, I thought you might like to hear them. So the little birds are up, which means we're up. Good morning, everyone. I'm literally like the walking dead. And I actually think I've woken up with a cold. I'm hoping it goes off by the time I've had a cup of tea. But I've got a sore throat and a really snotty nose. Ooh, we don't want a cold, do we? No. And finally, it got light. It seems to have taken forever to get light this morning. So it's about 20 past eight. Um, I'm very snotty. Oh, I don't even know where I've caught a cold from. Ruby's had a horrible cough. Um, so whether I've caught something off her, probably school gyms are the worst. Right, so good morning, Pat, Peggy, my little friends, me, little Bubba, bless him. Even my mum's got a Bubba calendar and she said it's so lovely to see his little face every morning. And it, and it really is, he really cheers me up. Positive Potato, I know a lot of people have said that you've seen Positive Potatoes for sale on different places. Um, the only reason I sort of wanted to support this Positive Potato was because the money was actually going to a mental health cause. But the lady never replied, so she replied once and then never replied again. So I don't really know why, bless her. But um, yeah, that's why I wanted these Positive Potatoes, because they raise money for mental health and rather than just actually owning one. But we don't seem to be able to get any, so... They're very good if you can find them elsewhere. Uh, treat yourself to one because I think they do encourage you to think about your mental health a little bit. Really good. So, calendar of the day. Let's hope it's a good one. I can't believe it's the 17th of January already. Life is what you make it. My mum always says that. So, surely my mum's going to like today's calendar. Life is what you make it. So, she always says that. So, you have to put something in to get something out. She always tells me. Right, lovely the rain's magic. We've got... Uh, we have to dare to be ourselves, however frightening or strange that self may prove to be. That's right. You are you. Be more you, <laughs> she says. Right, older, wiser and sexier. We've got uh, grey. You call it grey. It's stress highlights, if you don't mind. <laughs> My hair is definitely like that. So I have got a hair colour. I have got a new one, uh, a new make that I've never tried before. Um... I've read mixed reviews on it, so some people say it's really good, some people don't like it. So, if I feel up to it, I am going to colour it today. I think today is going to be one of those days. So, it's 20 to 9, I was all planned. Slow cooker is out, I was going to do this like meatball thing. And then I've looked in my fridge, and I haven't got the meatballs. I've got all the other ingredients that I need, and I can remember looking at meatballs when I did my online food shop, and I obviously forgot to actually bloody order them and I got this morning and thought I don't remember seeing meatballs in the fridge and I thought there must be I must have just forgotten but I've looked in the fridge there is no meatballs so it is 8 40 do I make a dash to Tesco and get some because if I want to make it I kind of wanted to put them on slow for like eight hours so do we dash to Tesco now and get some I really don't want to because there'll be all school children about and stuff and it's like oh but then I really want to make it. And because I've got a bit of a cold, I thought, yeah, it'd be nice and comforting. So I think we'd have to make a mad dash for it. Okay, so I've made it into the car. It is, I think it's minus one and a half degrees. The screen and everything is completely frozen. The whole car is frozen. And I only want to go to bloody Tesco. <laughs> so I've just got to sit here now. Look at me, I'm half asleep and I'm all like snotty and I'm, I don't want to go here at all. And look how cold it is. <sighs> oh, dearie me. And we're still frozen up. Right, I've made it. I've made it back and it's still only five to nine. So, I bought three packs of these. I know you can make your own meatballs, but I'm running out of time. Um, so, I bought three lots. Probably should have only bought two lots. But then I thought, I don't think six meatballs would be enough for me, Hubby and James, because they're like a big dinner. 
Um, so I've got to work out how many we get each. But anyway, we've got to fry them first and get them chucked in as low. Yeah. Right, it seems far too early in the morning to be cooking this sort of food, but it does smell really nice. So I'm just pre like browning off my little meatballs, so they get chucked into the slow cooker. Then I've chopped an onion up, and then I've got to fry that. And then that also goes in the slow cooker. And then my other ingredients as well, which I'll run through in a minute. Right, okay, the meatballs are in. So we've got uh, the meatballs. We've got uh, three tablespoons of tomato puree, um, two tablespoons of Worcester sauce, um, a tablespoon of Dijon mustard, um, a little scoop of lazy chopped garlic, a teaspoon of onion granules, a teaspoon of oregano, um, some salt and pepper thrown in, and then my onion rings are gonna go in, and then I think you need to make some beef stock, hang on. Right, next thing to go in, 400 milliliters of beef stock. So I've done that, so I'm gonna pull that in. And then you mix, um, and the last bit, two tablespoons of gravy and 50 ml of water. Don't be a gormless idiot like me and actually make the gravy with the water. I shouldn't have done that. I should have just put the water in and the gravy granules in, but didn't I actually made it into gravy and then tried to pour it in and it was all thick and lumpy. But anyway, onions are in, everything's in. It's now on low and I'm gonna leave it alone for eight hours. I'm not gonna stir it or anything. Obviously you need to put the lid on, but it already smells absolutely delicious. Done. Bit of a mess, we need to clean up, but it smells beautiful. Right, <coughs> so let's put the pots in to soak and then can we finally get some breakfast? It's 25 past nine. Breakfast and a nice cup of tea, please. Right, finally, breakfast. So, breakfast this morning, I've got cornflakes. Because I used them yesterday in my recipe and I realised they're not as, got as many calories as you think they have in them. So, I've got 30 grams of cornflakes and because they don't weigh much, you get loads. Right, so you've got cornflake. There you go. Nobody else could be bothered to come. What do you think to that? Does it look all right? Right, Winifred, I've got your cornflake. What do you think? There you go. <laughs> it's cornflake time. What do you think? Is that nice? You've dropped a bit. <laughs> Lovely, jubbly. Cornflake. Is that nice? Oh, and I've had a quick look through my comments from yesterday. And Rebecca, it was your 40th birthday yesterday. So happy birthday for yesterday. It's all downhill when you get in your 40s. I hate to tell you that. Your knees will start aching. Your back starts to hurt. <laughs> <laughs> but happy 40th <laughs> um and i made a schoolboy error um it's quite funny really it is actually dolly's birthday today not yesterday so i checked back from the lady who i bought her off um and she'd sent me a message last year on the 16th saying happy birthday for dolly for the morning so i got it all right around my neck so it's actually dolly's birthday today but We'll just ignore that fact she had a lovely day yesterday bless her <laughs> and i'm really worried because the lady that I bought Dolly off is like one of the nicest people I've ever met and I know she was suffering with cancer and I've messaged her and she's not been on WhatsApp for over a week and normally she messages straight back. So the fact that I've not heard from her for a week is slightly worrying and she's had more puppies, I know that, um, but she also said that she'd not been very well at all and, and now I'm really worried and because I don't know her as in like know her that I could just go round um although i know where she lives i'm really worried you know like when you're really worried about somebody that you really care about so i i've sort of looked on social media and i think is there anyone else i know that could like tell me if she's all right because i don't want to like message if she's not well and it's like it's so hard isn't it? i worry about people so much and some people you meet in life are really special and she was really special when i bought dolly because it was kind of after my mum had breast cancer and stuff and she was so special and it was just one of the nicest people i've ever met and it's like i really hope she's all right but i've got a feeling that maybe she's not and it's it's horrible i don't like it so i'm worrying about a bless her anyway there's nothing i can do so i've tried not to think about it um and it's now about 10 o'clock. I really need to go and colour my hair, but I'm full of cold and I don't really want to. But then I think, Jane, do it. And then it's another job over and done with. Oh, and lovely Caroline sent me a photo of her dog Daisy watching um, Dolly and Winnie on um, 
my video it's really cute so i'll try and insert the photos now before i forget so enjoy the little photos love to see little dogs it's so cute Aww, so my dogs have got a fan so lovely daisy which is caroline's dog has been watching my videos look there's little florence and there's daisy and there's dolly and there's daisy that's so cute daisy nice to see you my darling i hope you enjoyed our little doggies love love blah, blah, blah. get my words out lots of love lovely daisy and caroline right i forgot i needed to do the veg to go with my little like onion gravy thing whatever it is meatballs so peeled potatoes done some brussels done some broccoli so all i'll have to do later is switch the pans on look at the little friends it's like they're having a little conversation bless them right this is my third or fourth cup of tea of the day so i'm now going to color my hair so i will see you after and before i go i'm gonna show you my mug ready The best mug ever <laughs> and we're back hair all done so i'll show you in a minute when i have my dinner oh have you got your fish <laughs> you love your fish don't you i don't that's very annoying very noisy so loud it's like somebody constantly rustling about your crisp in your ear all right so i made myself some dinner i've got the same as yesterday so i've got the chicken and cranberry absolutely love it cup of coffee in my posh mug feeling very posh um and slow cooker Ooh. so you told me off last time for lifting the lid so i'm not going to lift the lid it certainly smells very nice <laughs> i was just looking at winnie and then dolly shoved her nose on my plate and nicked a piece of chicken so you've already had a bit really so winifred florence and dolly that's his second bit <laughs> the chicken must have smelled nice because it even tempted Winnie out of bed. Did it smell nice? Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? Anyway, here I am. Here's my hair. So inside, it does look dark, but as soon as I go outside, it's like quite gingery red. Um, it's actually really nice for a change. It's really brightened it up. Um, I've cut quite a lot off it. I got a bit carried away. Um, but I like it a bit shorter. It's nice. Um. I feel, I don't know. I like it when I put my extensions in and it's really long, but when it just sits thin and rubbish on my shoulder, I don't really like it as much. There is no personal space. You've just licked my lips. Oh, please don't do that. I've seen you eat poo before. <laughs> Not today, thank goodness. Don't, just because it's your birthday and I got your birthday wrong yesterday doesn't mean that you're allowed to lick my lips. So it's now about quarter past one. <laughs> don't. You've done it again. Don't. <laughs> so it's about quarter past one. Um, I've made, got to drink my coffee and then we might need to charge up. I'm a bit snotty, but I think the fresh air probably do me good. It's a beautiful blue sky out there. And I cannot believe I forgot. I was supposed to be washing James's bed. So I did my bed, then I did Ruby's bed, and then I was supposed to have done James's. And then I don't know why, but I forgot. So we'll have to wash James's tomorrow, bless him. Stop. <laughs> Just showing off because it's your birthday. Did, pardon me. Did I get your birthday wrong yesterday? Oh dear, I'm so naughty all the time. I'm the worst mummy in the world. <laughs> Life with Pomeranian. Stop it. I don't want to lick in on my lips. I know you're beautiful, but there's no chicken left. Stop trying to lick me. <laughs> the joys of living with little dogs. No. <laughs> right, so away we go. We're going for a very quick little chair shot run in. Let's go.
back in the car. Can't read my hair is in the sunshine. Woo. <laughs> so I bought a little treat for my neighbour. Can't help buying a little things. I don't make so happy. So I've got her a little calendar. It was only a pound. Like a pound to spend a bit of happiness is just lovely. So I'll show you when we get back. Let's go home. Right, this is what I bought for my neighbour. It's like a little mini desk calendar. Um, and it's really cute. It's really, really nice. And it was a pound. I think it's so lovely. So she often um, wants to know what the day is. So I think this will help her. Pound. So I'm going to grab the dogs and we'll go across here. Right this way. <laughs> Dolly. Right, we'll walk first. Then we'll take the paper. She's coming. She's coming. Yeah, she, she says, don't want Florence to have any force. <laughs> Just Dolly. Right, we're back in the car. We're going to get Ruby. Will you come with me? So we've dropped Florence off back at home. Uh, we're going to get Ruby with Dolly. And my neighbour loved the calendar. She thought it was absolutely wonderful. You know when you give somebody something and you can tell they really like it? She really liked it. I'm so pleased. Are you listening to me? And she wished you happy birthday, didn't she? And she gave you a treat. She gave you a treat, didn't she? Yeah. Right, let's go and get Ruby then. Let's go and get Ruby. Oh, we're all home. Are you cold, Winnie? Hang on. Yeah. Is that better? If you don't want the flash on it, blind you. Oh, <laughs> really? <laughs> what are you bringing now? What have you got? We're talking to Winifred. We don't need long sausage dogs. <laughs> Do you want your jumper on, Winnie? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Would you like your jumper on? Before you friend it, should we long sausage? Oh, it smells delicious. Right, what did we buy today? So, I bought this. Ah, I like bobbly light things. And I actually thought, I mean, it's not a cup, is it? I thought you could use it to put your cotton buds in, in the bathroom. That's my idea. I thought, yeah, I can think of a use for it. And it has got a make on the bottom. I, if the camera will pick it up, perhaps not. Can you just see that? Um, I think it says J, J line. So it might be expensive. I'm not sure, but it looks lovely. I really like it. Um, I got some cute trousers that I tried on. They're a bit skinny. Um, and then they have like little uh, cutouts at the bottom. I thought they're quite cool with some of my irregular choice shoes. Um, I bought this because I love random dinner plates. Ta -da! So it's about pies, um, and it's from 1988. It says Denby Dale, by Century Pie, 3rd of September 1988. And I'm going to eat my dinner on it. <laughs> so I was 10 when this plate came out. You probably shouldn't eat off it, but I'm going to wash it. It'd be lovely. And then I got this super cute necklace, which they didn't know if it was supposed to come in this box or not. I've seen similar things in TK Maxx. Um, it's like a little rainbow and it said it's silver and I just thought it was so cute. So it's just these lovely rainbow colours. I'm not sure how long the chain is on it, but I thought in summertime when you wear like lower cardigans and stuff and you can see chains, it's so nice. And then I bought this, which is a men's, a John Lewis cashmere coat. I did pay £10 for it and it, it is damaged. Um, but obviously I bought those Karen Milling coats. It's got like a lot of damaged area just here. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up. Um, it's got a damaged bit there. Um, 
which you can see in real life quite badly. Um, but I thought it feels absolutely beautiful. Obviously, it's massive on me, but I love like big oversized coats. Um, and I just had a bit of an idea about it and it felt so beautiful. And I've been looking at it for a few weeks and it was £20. And I asked them today if they could do anything with the price. So they said because it was so damaged that they would let me have it for 20 But I might put a patch on it, like put a couple of like trendy patches on it. Because obviously I sent back the Karen Millen one because it didn't fit right. And I thought I could get some... Maybe some like crystally things and maybe put a couple of bits on the sleeve or something. So I'm going to do something with it. I'm going to get creative. Um, for £10 for a cashmere coat, I think is really good. And although it's a bit big on my shoulders and stuff, I think it's quite trendy. So there was another lady in the shop who was looking at me and she was like staring at me. I said, oh, I'm just look, trying it on. So she said, oh, she said, I thought you'd come in it. She says, I was just thinking how good it looked. I was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> I said, no, I'm just trying it on. Um, but she thought it looked really cool because it was like oversized and big. So that was everything I bought. But I love it. It's so cool. Right, we need, now I need to get the potatoes done, Brussels, broccoli, and get myself a nice cup of coffee. The jumper is on mm. and 10 minutes till my tea's ready. I'm so hungry. Oof. You've got to love it when your mashed potatoes like leaks and gone absolutely everywhere. I hate cleaning the top of this oven, it's awful. So I'm just gonna clean it all and then I think it'll be time to doll it up. It smells amazing. Right, clean the top of my oven. Let's have a look. Oh that looks absolutely delicious and smells amazing. Wow. I've just doled this up and my husband has just walked through the door. How is that for timing? <gasps> Off to enjoy it. Oh, my tea was absolutely delicious. It was so nice. And there's a bit left over. You've got a bit of, a bit of special gravy on your dinner. How lovely. <laughs> Don't get in the way. <laughs> oh, lovely jubbly. So this is your birthday celebration part two, darling. Look, you've got lovely thick gravy on your dinner. Look at this. Oh, lovely. Lovely jubbly, there you go. Happy birthday, part two. Oh, it really is. I'm going to love you and leave you. I'm going to watch, oh, what's it called? It's on at nine o'clock tonight on channel four or five. And it's about treasure. Is it finders keepers or something? It's about some treasure they find while they're out metal detecting. It looks really good drama. I can't wait to watch it. So if you don't know what to watch tonight, go and watch that. So many thanks for joining me again today. I'm still a bit like sniffly. I keep having to blow my nose. It's so annoying. Oh. I don't want a cold, it can go away. <laughs> so if you do enjoy just a little bit of real life, then please subscribe to my channel. Come and find me on Instagram as Mrs. Crazy Bag Lady. My dogs have got Instagram, which is Sweet Fluffles. My little Avon shop's down below. It's all down below. So I love you, leave you. I'll see you tomorrow. It's Thursday tomorrow, I think. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.